Howdy brewers, quick intro to the brew day. We've got two and a half kilos of Pilsner malt, and I'm going to do instead of a kilo of, um, of raw plain white rice, I'm going to try two bags or one kilo of rice flakes. So, if you have a look, looks pretty gelatinized, so I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to worry about doing any sort of gelatinization. So I'm going to mash in now and I'll probably do a starch test after 60 minutes because I've never used this before and because I'm using a small amount of Pilsner malt uh, I want to make sure that you get conversion, starch conversion. Alright, um, yeah, talk to you soon. So this is how the mash looks. You can see the light coloured flakes in there. They're, um, they're the rice flakes. It doesn't look too viscous, so too thick, like when I'm using uh, cooked rice. So I'm not going to um, put any rice holes. I think I might be able to get away with this without rice holes. I don't have much of a flow going through here, so you can see that's not much. Um, still in the first half of the mash. And we'll do a starch test soon. Okay, we're about 45 minutes into the mash. Just going to do starch conversion. Now remember, we want it to go clear or stay brown. Oh, sweet! We've got full conversion. That happened a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. Great. So now I'll put the um, I'll can get onto mash out. Just doing the mash out, and um, looks like. The rice flakes have generated a very clear result with um, with the cooked rice. This was still cloudy when I was doing the recirculation, uh, and the conversion happened faster. And it appears that at least the extract is as good as I can expect um, for the um, at least for pre-sparge. We'll see how it goes post-sparge. Okay, we're just coming up to the boil now. Sparge is all done. And just going to throw in first word hops. 10 grams of magnum. Okay, 10 minutes left in the boil. Got our 20 grams of cascade. And one teaspoon of yeast nutrient and one whirl flock. And uh, when we come back in about 10 minutes, I'll just show you something that I've been trialling. Worked uh, worked pretty well last time. And um, just how to get a really clear wort into the fermenter. Okay, so what, I've just turned it off the boil. And what I've done here, I've chopped up the side that the pump is on. And then that way, hopefully, all the trube settles down in this corner of the grain father. Um, I'll turn the chiller on in a minute and start recirculating back into the grain father. I did it last time with a beer. Uh, you'll see me taste probably my next video because it should be ready by then. Um, and it was really clear when it, when it went into the fermenter and had a really, has a really nice flavour. Um, not sure if it would have turned out any different if the trube was at the bottom of the fermenter, but it just um, it made for an easier, easier transfer, I think. So, yeah, I'll turn this on in a couple of minutes when um, some more of the proteins start to coagulate and fall out of the suspension. And there you have it. So, 
uh, just trying to get to a point where you can sort of see how clear it is but it's a lot more clear than it would be if I was just chilling it um, straight in here so and I can also have the pump pressure up a lot higher so this fills a lot quicker in terms of time saving it probably doesn't save any time but putting in clear work right at the start uh, just gives me a bit more peace of mind when um, you don't won't get as much tube in the bottom the tube stays in the grandfather and yeah it's a good brew day just getting some air into the wort but yeah good brew day and um, I'll see you for tasting cheers <laughs>